What have you seen from IU on film? Uh, IU's a good team. They got a lot of speed. Their O-line is pretty good. So, I mean, it's going to be a good game. Good game. Just your development this year, what's been the, what's been the key there? Oh, my think, yeah, your, your personal development, what you've, what you've gotten out of this year so far. I definitely think uh, just, like, watching film and, like, having the game slow down for me. Uh, like, it was my first year playing, so just knowing when certain things is coming and, and stuff like that really helps. And now I just want to get better on my technique. And once that gets cursed, I think sky's the limit for me. What have you learned from Jack Sullivan? Oh, Sully, he's a smart guy. He knows when everything is coming. He knows when things are coming before it's coming. So, I mean, he just spits all the knowledge he has. He just gives it to me. He's a great older teammate, and I love Sully. When, uh, when Mark laid out this plan at the beginning of the year about using a bunch of guys on the mm-hmm. defensive line and, uh, you know, really relying on that depth, I mean, do you feel like that has played out like he – he drew it up there back in whatever month that would have been. Yeah, I think I think Coach Hagen does a great job. Like whenever he tell, like whenever we're tired, we just tap our hat and get a new guy in. I think it's perfect because you will always have fresh guys on the field, and you just like play relentless. And when you that when you're doing that, you're gonna be tired. So you just you tap our hat and he lets us come out. And I think it's uh, helped us in the long run, just with our bodies and stuff like that. So. As a guy from out east. Did you even know what the old open bucket was before you got here? Oh, no. I had no clue what Purdue was. I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't have no clue I was going to go to school in Indiana, so I had no clue about it. Have you talked to any in-state teammates to, to kind of get a feel? I mean, you've been here for a couple mm-hmm. years, obviously. You've, been, you've experienced it just to kind of really get the, the feel for what the rivalry means to those in the state. Oh, it's big. Like, in Coach Hagan mentioned in meetings earlier, it's like you think about your – he said, you think about your high school rivalry and you did times it by 100. So, um, so those guys take it personal, personal, especially the NSA guys, and it's uh, something that we the, we got to keep the bucket here. Did he ever tell you he scored a touchdown in the old Oakland bucket game? He did not. Mm-hmm. He did not tell me that. <laughs> I can see Coach doing that for sure, though. What the, What's next showing you this year? What's, that? what's yeah. next showing you this year? <laughs> Nick, he's an explosive guy, fast. He takes coaching, he learns quick, and the sky's the limit for him. He's going to be a stud for sure. Any other young guys catch your eye? I mean, there's a lot of good young D linemen there. Mm-hmm. JP and Joe Strickland, I mean, Mo. I, mean, I think all of them catch my eye. I think all of them is just, like, eager to learn. I know they may not get all of the stuff now, but I feel like as time goes on, they just keep practicing and keep getting reps. They're just, just going, everything's just going to be easier for them, and they're going to get better.